Welcome back to Farzan Channel. Today, we will play how to assemble, wash, and fuel these vehicles. Ambulance, fire truck, police car, firefighter helicopter, and lifeboat. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Let's learn the construction of an ambulance and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now let's install wheels. A car needs rolling wheels to move on the road. And now we need to install brakes. Brakes are needed to slow a car down or stop it. Now let's install suspension. Suspension keeps the car from shaking while driving. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move, and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Now let's install some special equipment. The special ambulance equipment consists of an electrocardiography system, defibrillator, ventilator, and other medical devices. This is a first aid kit. Let's put it in its place. The first aid kit contains all the necessary medicines, tools, and instruments for first aid. Let's put a stretcher. The ambulance stretcher is designed to carry patients. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. Hooray! We did it! Let's wash. Ambulance. Drag the blower along the dirt to blow it off. Now drag the sponge along the vehicle to soap it up. Drag the roller along the vehicle to remove the foam. Now let's wash the rest of the foam with water. Drag the hose along the vehicle. Great! Move the cloth along the vehicle to wipe it. That's all. Filling. Ambulance. Drag the card onto the gas station to pay for the fuel. 
Drag the refueling gun to the tank opening. Tap on the gas station to fuel the vehicle. Drag the bucket with the mop onto the glass to wash it clean. Drag the pump to the flat tire to inflate it. Drag the air freshener into the cabin of the vehicle. Keep it up. Let's learn the construction of a fire truck and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Wheels are needed so that the car can move on the road. Suspension keeps the car from shaking, and brakes are used to stop the car. This is an engine. Install it. The engine turns the wheels so that the car can move. Now install the battery. The battery helps you start the car and also provides power for the lights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Let's install an interior of the car. Firefighters are placed in the interior. Now let's install a cabin. The cabin is a separate part of a car. The car's driver sits in the cabin. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. And now we need to install a fire pump. The fire pump transports water from the cistern to the fire truck's water cannon. It's a cistern. Let's install it in its place. The cistern is used to transport water on the fire truck. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Let's install firefighting equipment. The firefighting equipment is a special set of tools for fires extinguishing. This is a water jet. Install it. This is a device that directs a jet of water onto the fire. Amazing! You're doing really great. Now we need to wash it clean. Fire truck. Drag the blower along the dirt to blow it off.
Now drag the sponge along the vehicle to soap it up. Drag the roller along the vehicle to remove the foam. Now let's wash the rest of the foam with water. Drag the hose along the vehicle. Great! Move the cloth along the vehicle to wipe it. Keep up the good work. Now we need to fill it. Fire truck. Drag the card onto the gas station to pay for the fuel. Drag the refueling gun to the tank opening. Tap on the gas station to fuel the vehicle. Drag the bucket with the mop onto the glass to wash it clean. Drag the pump to the flat tire to inflate it. Drag the air freshener into the cabin of the vehicle. We did it! Let's learn the construction of a police car and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Wheels are needed so that the car can move on the road. Suspension keeps the car from shaking, and brakes are used to stop the car. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. It's a separation barrier. Let's install it. This barrier is needed to separate police officers from the arrested people transported in the back seat. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. It's time to install headlights and rear lights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. That's all. We did it! Let's wash. Police car. Drag the blower along the dirt to blow it off. Now drag the sponge along the vehicle to soap it up. Drag the roller along the vehicle to remove the foam. 
Now let's wash the rest of the foam with water. Drag the hose along the vehicle. Great! Move the cloth along the vehicle to wipe it. You're doing really great. First, we have to fill it. Police car. Drag the card onto the gas station to pay for the fuel. Drag the refueling gun to the tank opening. Tap on the gas station to fuel the vehicle. Drag the bucket with the mop onto the glass to wash it clean. Drag the pump to the flat tire to inflate it. Drag the air freshener into the cabin of the vehicle. Amazing! Let's learn the construction of a firefighting helicopter and assemble it. Let's install chassis. Chassis are the wheels that are used during takeoff and landing. And now let's install the helicopter bucket. Firefighters use the helicopter bucket to scoop water and extinguish fire from above. And now we need to install the seats. The pilot and crew of a helicopter sit on the seats. It's time to install controls. They are necessary for a pilot to control the helicopter. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install a fuselage. Parts of an aircraft are attached to the fuselage, and equipment and cargo are placed inside it. At first, let's install an engine. The engine makes the rotors of a helicopter turn. Now we need to install a main rotor. The main rotor lifts a helicopter upwards. Let's install a tail rotor. The tail rotor helps a helicopter change directions. That's all. Now we need to wash it clean. Firefighting helicopter. Drag the blower along the dirt to blow it off. Now drag the sponge along the vehicle to soap it up. Drag the roller along the vehicle to remove the foam. Now let's wash the rest of the foam with water. Drag the hose along the vehicle. Great! Move the cloth along the vehicle to wipe it. Don't stop! Now we need to fill it. Firefighting helicopter. Drag the card onto the gas station to pay for the fuel. Drag the refueling gun to the tank opening. Tap on the gas station to fuel the vehicle. Drag the bucket with the mop onto the glass to wash it clean. Drag the air freshener into the cabin of the vehicle. Don't stop!
Let's learn the construction of a lifeboat and assemble it. First, let's install the hull of a lifeboat. The hull is the main part of a lifeboat that keeps it on the surface of the water. Now let's install a motor. The motor makes a lifeboat move. Let's install a frame. The frame carries special equipment. Now it's time to install a searchlight. The searchlight illuminates the way and helps look for lost people on the water at night. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows that a lifeboat is approaching. These are the seats. Let's install them. The seats are where the driver and passengers of a lifeboat sit. And now let's install oars. The oars can be used to steer the lifeboat if the motor doesn't work. Let's install a life buoy. The life buoy is needed to rescue people in the water. These are the life jackets. Add them to the lifeboat. The life jackets help people stay afloat. You're doing really great. Let's wash. Lifeboat. Drag the blower along the dirt to blow it off. Now drag the sponge along the vehicle to soap it up. Drag the roller along the vehicle to remove the foam. Now let's wash the rest of the foam with water. Drag the hose along the vehicle. Great! Move the cloth along the vehicle to wipe it. Ready. Filling. Lifeboat. Drag the card onto the gas station to pay for the fuel. Drag the refueling gun to the tank opening. Tap on the gas station to fuel the vehicle. Drag the grinder along the bottom of the ship to clean it. Drag the new searchlight onto the vehicle to replace it. Amazing! Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.